Welcome back to Sunrise. We are here at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis for Saturday Science, and our Saturday Scientist is Miss Becky. Hello. How are you doing? I'm and, doing great. And who is this lovely young lady? This is my daughter, Mary Jane. Say hi. Help us there today. we go. Okay, so which, what are we doing today? So it's holiday time, and everybody loves to do a lot of baking. And yes. so we are going to talk about a common ingredient, yeast. Is it true that yeast is actually a living thing? Yeast is a living thing, and that's what helps make our bread grow, is the fact that it is a living thing. Okay. So how are we going to prove that it's a living thing today? So we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, I really encourage families to make bread if, if that is more than you want to tackle, starting with some frozen bread dough. So this is just some rolls that we got that were frozen. Very cold. They're very cold. And these have been sitting out for a couple hours. Okay. But these over here Less cold. Yes. have been sitting out overnight. And so oh. there's a really big difference. So why is there a big difference there? So what's happening is the yeast are feeding on the sugars in the flour and they are actually burping out carbon dioxide. Wait, the yeast is burping? The yeast is a living thing, and as it eats, it burps, just like we do. <laughs> so this yeast have terrible manners because they keep horrible. burping. So what are we going to do with these? So we're going to explore that mm -hmm. idea that yeast can give off carbon dioxide and burp a little bit more. So what we're going to do is start with a, an empty plastic bottle, water bottle, soda bottle, okay. and put a funnel. Now, Mary Jane, I want you to put two tablespoons of flour into our cup here, into our bottle here. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar in there. One tablespoon of sugar. And now we're going to switch sizes and we're going to put a teaspoon and a half of yeast. Okay. All right. And now okay. you want to use warm water for this. I just have room temperature, but warm water works a little bit better. And we're going to fill it about a, a third of the way or so. And I'm going to screw a cap on this. It smells like bread. It kind of smells like, it and does it smell will, like bread all, uh, already. And that bread smell that we're used to is definitely the yeast. Okay. So now I'm going to have you give it a bit of a shake to okay. stir it all up. Got to stir it. Got to give it a big shake here. Okay, now what? Now we're going to take the cap off. And what? Probably okay. should smell Woo! like a loaf of bread. Yep. Yes, it does smell like a loaf of bread. And so I've stretched out a balloon, and we're just going to put a balloon over the top. And Mary Jane, what do you think might happen? I mean, if you leave this out for a while, it will start looking like this. Oh my gosh. So why does it look like this? So we have yeast in here, and as that yeast is eating the sugar, it's burping off that carbon dioxide, and it has to have some place to go, so it's inflating our balloon. So if you can imagine this was our bread dough, it would... <laughs> make the bread to rise so as wait, well. So the yeast in here is burping and that's causing air to come up to this balloon and exactly. expand. Exactly, that's what's happening. So when you're sitting around the table and enjoying your Christmas uh, dinner and you have a yeast roll, you have a roll in front of you, you can say, hey, this roll burps quite often. There you go. It does. The things you learn on Saturday Science.